children that we spend the Jamuri day together with them. As you can see from these photos, these are very jovial children. They have been 28 uh, orphan children in total uh, for a period of time, uh, including the last time that we visited with them. And uh, the two house parents, uh, the uh, proprietors of this home, uh, Pastor and Mrs. Simon Kemaili, they have been doing a great work to educate these children, to clothe them, to feed them, and God gave us a burden to uh, partner with them and to support them in whichever way we can be able to, in our small way, at first we thought it was just a one-off thing, but then God gave us a burden, and we have continued time and again as ZCC to visit with them, to supply full staffs, and now we are working on supplying the school uniform to the children, and we have been very touched by the story of this children's home more than any other uh, place that we have ever been to until we decided that we are not going to thinly spread uh, our aid to different homes but we shall concentrate all our energies first to this home. We, we had something that was very touching yesterday in, the, in this home that uh, up until uh, uh, October this year, 2017, they have been having a major, our main uh, sponsor of the home, who was a, a Muslim, and you know it is a Christian-based uh, home. And um, this sponsor decided to come and build um, some classes for them, which he did, as you can see, there are some classes here, which have uh, uh, the, the Islamic colors with them. Then um, decided to go further. The sponsor decided to go further and was requesting to build a mosque in the same place. And these uh, beloved brethren, they refused. And so the sponsor decided to pull out the sponsorship. And so they no longer have the food that was uh, coming regularly and they no longer have the salaries for the teachers. And uh, they said it is better than to have two gods housed in, within the compound of the children's home. And so that is what they did. And so they are there today without, uh, without uh, uh, the sponsorship that they were receiving. Therefore, they were forced to uh, release some of the children 
I saw the number reduced to 17. But they, you are, they have still continued to receive more children. Sometimes they are forced to receive children even when they feel their capacity may not be, uh, you know, allowing them to do so. And so, I, you know, when you are listening, you are really touched by that story that they can be that bold. And they have been in prayer, believing God uh, to have anybody out there who can be able to help them. You can partner with uh, ZCC, uh, Zoe Celebration uh, Center, uh, our outreach harm, which is Zoe outreach team, which is working towards uh, making sure that we get every, 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 everything that we can be able to get, whether big or small. We can build the classes, we can pay the teachers. It is such a small um, budget if many people can be able to join in together. But it is big when it is only them. And the burden is heavier when you don't have anybody to encourage you to do it. Therefore, I would urge you, even as you go through the photos and see some of the uh, a few photos that you were able to take yesterday, yeah, our program was drastically affected uh, by uh, the fact that there has been changes that we were not we had not known before. But we thank God that as, nevertheless we were able to put a smile upon these children. We love them so much, and I pray that God is also going to give you a burden for them, so that we can together continue to make their lives better. God bless you so much, everybody. Uh, that God touches for the orphaned and for the widows. It is a sign that God has an agenda for your life. I bless you for being a, a great supporter of this great work that God has given unto us. I want to pray a blessing unto you this wonderful day. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for every uh, one of your children that you are blessed in this uh, future Hope Children's Home. We commit them unto your able hands. I want to thank you because of my friend who has been uh, of great support in this work. I pray that you're going to open the doors for them. I pray that you're not going to withhold any good thing from them. You say that whosoever gives unto the poor lends unto you, and you shall repay that which they have lended unto you. I pray that you're going to open doors for your children. You're going to make uh, them understand even more than what I am saying. You're going to give them insight into scriptures. You're going to cause them to receive from you so that their joy may be complete and so they may be ready for every good work. I thank you, Father, and I honor you, and I glorify your name. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe. Amen and amen. Shalom and God bless you. Amen.